Aspen police continue their frantic search for a missing ski, the show Ghost Hunters has obtained a surprising 100% success rate at finding evidence of the afterlife, and voyeurs watch a women's march on Washington through the bushes. It's the week of April 11, 2011, and this is The Onion Review. Aspen police entered day five of their increasingly desperate search for a ski that went missing after its owner left it unattended to go have a glass of wine in the main lodge. Authorities say they're using every resource at their disposal to locate the nine-year-old Rosignol S80. A candlelight vigil will be held outside the Burberry store on East Hyman Avenue Friday, where locals are being asked to donate for the rescue effort and pray for the fiberglass ski's safe return. Congress voted this week to cut funding for its 26-year-old stepson, Jeremy, whose living expenses have been subsidized since he moved into the Capitol building with his mother in 1998. The bill, known as the Come On Jeremy, It's Time to Grow Up and Start Thinking About Your Future Act, will also cut his congressional health care, end payments on his Volkswagen Jetta, and cease tuition for his real estate class, which, quote, he never studies for anyway. While touring the country to promote her new book, author Francine Massey vowed to give every reading her all, whether it's just to three people or a much larger crowd of nine people. Here's Massey reading to an audience of two in Kansas City. Ever since she had been old enough to stand, Anna had waited at the water's edge, her eyes on the horizon as low tide crept back into the sea. Massey said her, quote, ultimate rock star ego boost came in Minneapolis last week, when as many as 11 people showed up for a reading, not counting her roommate from college, a woman who appeared to be mentally ill, and an elderly shopper who just wanted to sit for a moment. In sports, the UConn women's basketball team was left reeling this week after an embarrassing loss to a women's basketball team. While praising the Notre Dame Fighting Irish for being, quote, really good for a ladies squad, star Maya Moore questioned if UConn could still even call itself an elite college basketball program after being beaten by a bunch of girls. On Wall Street, shares in the Eddie Bauer Corporation climbed today on word that men's pullovers were now available in eggplant and chestnut heather. In other news, Rush Limbaugh announced plans to go on vacation where he'll do nothing but golf and respect minorities for two weeks. Guests emerge shell-shocked from a rich couple's wedding, and it looks like this homeless guy survived the winter. That is the most thorough recap of the news possible. For more stories, videos, and a look at Mitt Romney's sincere apology for his past of helping uninsured sick people, go to theonion.com review.